It's getting to that time of year again. Snow and ice on the roads. And all around. The two-tone shades look beautiful, but don't let them get film noir on you. And Volkswagen Caravelle has the can have the advantage of four-wheel drive and snow tyres. Snow tyres are amazing things. It's all about the compound of the rubber, we call it, don't we? And a little to do with the tread. But none of those things are going to save you. They'll help you. But my advice to you as an experienced driver in severe snow and ice conditions, snow, very different, thick blanket that you're squashing down, really quite grippy, ice, mm, yeah, assume that it's going to be guesswork at some point. My advice to you, low input driving. What do I mean by that? Well, a little bit like if you're trying to do the smoothest driving and keep your customers very comfortable in the back there. And also, if you're not trying to spill a drink that's on the counter-expensive Grand Cru. I'm still talking about your customers here, not yours as the driver. Take the racing line through any curves and bends. So the racing line, you'll be out wide, perhaps kissing the apex and letting the car run wide again. Obviously, what you're doing on the accelerator makes a difference. Anything on snow and particularly ice, very little steering input, as little steering input as you can, and taper off the throttle, taper off your foot. Do as little as possible on your foot in accordance with what you're doing on the steering wheel, but don't lose the momentum, don't stop, keep moving, even if it's to crawl, especially if you're in snow, but very much so if you're in, on ice. You stop on snow, you dig in. You'll have to do a lot of shovel, shoveling even before you can get your snow chains on or your snow socks on the wheels. It is difficult to say how much momentum you want to keep going on ice, you just have to feel for it, it'll depend on the gradient of the slope and how polished the ice is by those that have gone before you. One thing I will say though, when everything's a blanket of white, it can be quite easy to find the edge of the road. You'll notice it quite quickly, but your customers will get nervous, or your passengers will get nervous, if, especially if they're on precipice side of the caravel. No. If you do find yourself, um, or not all precipices as steeper as another, um, lower slopes, if you're off over the edge, uh, it's grassy. You want to stay as shallow as you can, but making sure you're nowhere near rolling. If you're too shallow down the gradient, you will roll, despite the weight distribution of the vehicle. Um, if you go too steep, you'll smash the front up when you get to a road again after a hairpin or whatever. Boom. What you need to take from this, low input driving, maintain momentum, don't hog the centre of the road because someone else will be coming the other way. But equally, watch out for the rumble of the edge of the road. Low input driving, no erratic steering, no erratic throttle, and you'll be fine. But make use of those technological aids that we've got these days.